Hey there, it's Martha, and if you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. I'm here filming a new intro to my Sassy Girl Aroma Wax Collection. So the video that you're about to see was recorded prior to Julie's business um, burning and or building, burning, and therefore her business um, being destroyed in a fire. I didn't have a chance to do this intro earlier, therefore I kind of shelved that video for a couple weeks, um, and here we are. So I want this to be a video really celebrating uh, the the beautiful brittles and the wax and the you know the love I have for this vendor, um, and that's 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 what it is. I've tried to record this intro probably seven times, and I keep rambling and saying too much and not saying enough and not finding the right words. And I don't think I'm going to do it justice regardless. All I can say is that, uh, of course, my heart and prayers go out to Julie and her family during this uh, honestly difficult months, not difficult, horrific, horrific months that she and her family have had to deal with. And so, um, this video is just me sharing my collection and uh, my love for Sassy Girl Aroma. So I think I'll leave it at that. Otherwise, I will ramble and just go on and on and, you know, I don't know, not say the right things or I don't know. I'm Like I said, I'm still struggling. Um, but I wanted to share my wax collection as originally planned. Just know that anything I say in the next hour <laughs> video that you're about to see was with, um, you know, prior to, prior to the tragic events. So just wanted to put that context out there and I hope you enjoy my sassy girl aroma collection because I sure do. And, uh, I look forward to the day where we can buy some more. So until then I will enjoy and love and, uh, savor every brittle. So I hope you enjoy the video. But I'm going to start off with these two, although you probably just heard me talk about them and the what I've been, what I've been warming, but I'm almost done with them. I, they were in my February basket. This is Good Morning Sunshine. It's Crisp Linen Accord, White Orchid, and Apple Blossom, and um, combined with linen sheets dried by sunshine and fresh air. I've had this since January of last year. I have six left. At the time I'm recording this, it's actually in my room right now. Um, I really love the scent. It is such a pretty scent. Um, the apple blossom is pretty. You do get, you do get laundry, but it's not your typical laundry. I find a lot of times laundry scents have like Lily of the Valley in it and maybe some Jasmine and some other really kind of florals traditionally found in those kind of I keep saying kind of <laughs> in those laundry detergent scents. This one, you it does smell somewhat laundry, but also really fresh. Like you get like, it's like you can feel the sunshine on a summer day and you're hanging, you know, your fresh laundered clothes, right? To dry out in the sun. That's what it smells like. And it is good morning sunshine, but you do have laundry, but it's kind of, it's a little different. It's a little fresh, clean in a different way. I really like this scent. I will buy this again, you know, when I've, when I don't have 87 brittles and loaves and stuff. <laughs> I will buy that again if I were to see it again. Montego Bay. This is Blackberry Beach Nights. I have four little cubes left and, um, yeah, I love this scent a lot. I love her Beach Nights a lot. I love her Blackberry a lot. Both of these, um, Good Morning Sunshine and Montego Bay, are great performers. Um, I will buy this again. I think that might be my second bag of that. Um, so I would certainly buy that again. All right, let's move into... I don't know. Let's move into my loaves. I don't buy loaves very often but I did last year. <laughs> I did for the very first time. I think my first loaf was either 
Green Machine or Fall Yoga Pants, but let's get into Green Machine. Uh, if you've watched my video or my channel, I should say, if you've watched my channel for a long time, you know I love Green Machine from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is pistachio, um, sugar cookies, zucchini, bread, and marshmallow. Love this scent. Um, I got a loaf of it because I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it. It smells so good. I love her pistachio. Now, if you look at the way I cut this up, it looks all crumbly. It's a bit of a mess, you know, and then I didn't finish the, kind of this other half, but it's like crumbles on the bottom. Didn't do a great job with that one. And that's because at the time I didn't know the microwave trick, which I've talked about a couple times recently. It's just putting the loaf in the microwave for a little while and and chopping. Uh, same with this one. I know it's hard to see because the bag is very waxy. This was kind of a little bit of a hot mess. Didn't I didn't put it in the microwave long enough. Now I've learned to put it in between 20 to 25 seconds on both sides. I think on this one, I did it on one side, so still a little crumbly. This one is Fall Yoga Pants by the Fire. This is Pumpkin Pecan Waffle, Cider Lane, and Marshmallow Fireside. I love the scent a lot as well. I actually love it so much. I got another loaf. That is not like me to get another loaf, but um, I was using this up pretty quickly in the fall, and so I was buying some other stuff. She offered it in a loaf and you know, you, that's what you do. <laughs> so um, I do have another loaf of it. This is really pretty on cold, but when you warm it, I think it's so much prettier. It's even, it's so beautiful when you warm it. Um, like good on cold, but it just comes alive when you warm that. So that, those are those loaves. I have one more loaf. Pumpkin Cinnabons, this is pumpkin souffle and cinnamon pastry, white buttercream frosting. This I got in December. I think I got this because I was watching Stephanie the Scented Gemini. And when, with Scentsy, we're, we don't twin, but with Vendor Wax and Saskiel Aroma, a lot of the things that she likes and talks about, I feel like I'm gonna like it as well. Um, I have this double bagged actually. So look at that. I double bagged this. Um, I remember at, by December, I have a lot of pumpkin scents. So I think I like this one. Okay. Uh, I mean, I have a loaf of it, so I better like it. Okay. But it is, oh, it's nice. It's very nice. It does have quite a bit of spices in there. Uh, I think from the pumpkin souffle. So yeah, it's been a while since I've smell these um but yeah so got a loaf of that i don't i don't know what i was doing getting a loaf of that but i do um here is more green machine i think it was just i don't know i have a lot of green machine so so you'll see that that is a favorite of mine okay Orange Frosted Danish. This is deep fried orange Danish with buttercream frosting. I got this a year ago, so February of 2023. This is a very strong scent. A lot, you do get a lot of this orange bakery to it, um, and you get that buttercream, you get a little butteriness from this deep fried. So this is a strong one. I haven't warmed a whole lot because I, I could only use like two little squares at a time. It'll fill up the downstairs and it's just one of those scents that is very heavy bakery and after a while it does feel like a lot. So I don't like to warm this one often. I feel like this is a little, little goes a long way with that one. This one I love. This is Ortega. This is Beach Nights Blueberry in Pink Chiffon. This is from December of 2022. So Sassy Girl Aroma was maybe the second or third vendor that I tried. So why I still have five little cubes, I don't know, but that is Ortega. So I should, I should just put that in next month's, next month's um, basket and use it up. All right. I'm going to now go with a lot of these on top here, I think are from winter, this past winter. So this is from August 23. This is My Wish for Christmas. Freshly baked sugar cookies surrounded by pine and pine cones scented in the fireplace. I love this one a lot. I love this one a lot. I think this one performed pretty well for me. The one that was very light for me was Christmas at Santa's, but this one 
is beautiful. That, that baked sugar cookie in here with a little bit of pine and pine cones. I also love pine cones. Beautiful. So I think this was probably a moderate performer, but I would warm this everywhere. So that's my wish for Christmas. Winter biscuits. I had heard so many people talk about the scent that when it was offered, I, I had to buy it along with the bunch of others. <laughs> uh, this is from December of 23. So very recent. This is Christmas baking permeates the home with warm hints of cinnamon, buttery pastries, gingerbread cookies, and patchouli. Now, this is the first scent or blend of, um, of Julie's. Julie's the owner of Sassy Girl Aroma with patchouli. I stayed away from this for a long, long time until I saw, was it like Melissa Johnson talk about it? I think Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris. I just, Susan Fitzpatrick might've talked about it as well. And I'm like, I got to give it a try. I think Maggie. So there's just a lot of people, I think, that, that do a lot of Sassy Girl Aroma hauls that had talked about this. And it is a very nice scent. I like the patchouli in here. It's very pretty. It sounds like a weird combination, like this bakery with patchouli, but I like it. I like it a lot. That being said, it was light for me. This is also from December. It's not like... You know, I haven't had it for six months or a year. So hopefully by next year, it would be, it'll be good and strong or stronger. Um, I warm this in the bedroom because it was on the lighter side, even though on cold sniff, it doesn't smell like it's going to be light. But when I warmed it, it was on the lighter side. So that is winter biscuits. It, it was good. I'm glad I got it. A lot of these right here, I have not um, warmed uh, because I, they're recent. They're from December. This is pumpkin oat milk. This is wonderful notes of cinnamon and lemon followed with pumpkin nutmeg and beautiful finish of warm oat, milk, vanilla, and clove. Let me know if reading the scent notes is annoying, um, but that is pumpkin oat milk. And yeah, I haven't warmed it, obviously. Her brittles are just gorgeous, um, but very, very, I was very into pumpkin last year. Then I have raspberry donuts in the kitchen, raspberry donuts, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla fudge butter. I do like scents with Twinkies in them as well. This is, I can't wait for this one. This is like definitely going to be a spring, springtime, summer scent, uh, raspberry bakery. And this, this is from December. These are all from December. West, West in East is uh, freshly brewed white tea, Mediterranean cedar, and Tahitian vanilla beans. Also from December of 2023. I got a lot of these hotel scents. This one is from, is it from the Wynn? Might be from the Wynn Hotel in Vegas. It's from one of the hotels. Um, so I got a lot of them. I was just, I was in the mood to try these hotel collection scents. This is very pretty. It's beautiful. I really like it. I can't wait to warm this. I'll probably warm this more again, like in the summertime. Um, but the tea in here is really pretty. It's it's nice. So I, I'm, I'm really kind of amped to warm these. Jackpot. Jackpot is also a casino scent. Um, this is exotic black tea, leaves, toasted fig, ground nutmeg, neroli, vanilla, and tonka bean. But since I just got them in December, I'm going to, you know, I was going to wait a while. It's been a few months now, so I'll start warming these pretty soon. Flannel Weather. This is a warm blend of bergamot, mahogany, and delicate veil of musk. I want to say that Stephanie from the Scented Gemini had mentioned this one as well. I like masculine scents. I know she likes some masculine scents, and I think the flannel in here was, yeah, just a tiny bit. Kind of like flannel from um, Bath and Body Works, but ooh, that's good. That's good. I love mahogany as well. This is this is a nice musky, sexy man kind of smell. So that is flannel weather. Okay, green. Another green machine. <laughs> Can you tell this is my favorite? So to answer the to answer the question that I pose to you, green machine is probably one of my favorites. Uh, pistachio, sugar cookies, zucchini, and marshmallow. I, yeah, like I need more. 
I don't think I need any more. Gaze into the night. This is a feminine, alluring blend of dark berries, midnight jasmine, and rich amber. Now, I believe this is into the night, into the night from like a dupe of it from Bath and Body Works. And I do really like that smell. It's very perfumey, very perfumey. I think I did, like I like the smell of Into the Night. I think that's what it's called from Bath and Body Works, but it's also strong. And I remember I returned it actually. I had bought the lotion and the fragrance mist and I wore it and I was at the movies and I could smell myself. Like I can smell myself. And, you know, it was, it was one of those where the movie was packed and there's like someone right next to me, like stranger. And I'm like the whole movie, he's probably thinking like, damn, she put on a lot of perfume. So I think I returned it because this one was just a lot. The, the Bath and Body Works scent. And I'm getting the same from this. It's pretty, but it's very perfumey. You have to like perfume scents. So this is Gaze Into the Night. And then I've got here, this one's called Rocket. This was um, a gift from a friend mail from Summer, from Summer Michelle. So this one, it does, it smells like rock candy is what it smells like. So this says beach night, rock candy and marshmallows. So it's rock candy with beach nights. It, I just get so much sugar, like sugar crystals. Yeah, I, that's yummy. It's a good, I think that'll be a fun summer one. You just want something sweet. Okay. Wave the Grain. This is Sugar Cookie Birthday Cake in Old Town Bakery. This is from over a year ago. This is from January of 2023. Ellie, I have like half a brittle. It takes me forever. I love Sassy Girl. I love her scents. That's why I have so much. 87, <laughs> but uh, it takes me a long time to get through it because I find that it really performs for me uh, a little. I mean, I sometimes just use one cube in a warmer, mostly two. I think on average, I'll put two little, you know, two of these little cubes in a warmer. But I, I just need like three warmers on for the downstairs. I get a lot of birthday cake on this one. A lot of birthday cake, um, but really a nice bakery. And it and it's a year old and strong. So I do find that her wax cures very well. Um, and it probably just gets stronger and stronger. Um, but the oldest I have is probably December of 2022. Uh, this is Goodwin. This is from August of 23. Pumpkin, pecan, waffle, banana bread, butter, popcorn, zucchini bread. This was from Summer Michelle. So she sent that to me in friend mail. I might have another one of this one, um, but the pumpkin pecan waffles and banana bread is really, really good. I don't have a lot of banana scents in my collection. I can get it in here. It's a really nice mix. So this is a beautiful bakery scent. I think when I started buying Sassy Girl Aroma, I really went gangbusters with bakery which is when December rolled around, I did get a lot of those hotel scents because I wanted to try something different from her that wasn't so much bakery. This is bunny time. This is cashmere vanilla, amber with sweet berries and soft blankets from a year ago. Really pretty. I've used half of this. Beautiful colors with the purple and the aqua. I'm gonna resist from smelling it, but I do remember liking that scent. Put it in the bedrooms just because of the, the cashmere vanilla. Hawaiian smoothie, this is from February 23. Sweet pineapple, coconut milk, banana, and vanilla. I have not smelled this in probably since last year, so I'm gonna take a quick sniff. And I think this one was either light or I didn't love it as much on, on um, warm. It smells so good. Oh, this smells so good. It smells like, it almost smells like um, a pineapple whip dole from Disneyland. Even though there's no, yeah, there is pineapple. That's what it smells like to me. It just reminds me of those pineapple whip dole 
treats. So good. But why do I think this one was light? Even though right now on cold sniff that's, I just get so much pineapple and coconut milk. It's so yummy. All right, don't look under the bed. This is hot pretzels with sweet yet salty caramel, gooey marshmallow, and fresh baked cookies. This is from December of 2022. So this is another older one. This is strong. I gave some of this, probably the square over here, I think to Christine from Christine Scent Scenes. I think I sent this to somebody. Um, it's a lot. Her pretzel is very strong. This one was, the caramel was really gooey. I'm, I found that caramel I like in small doses. So this one, I do not gravitate towards just because it's a lot of caramel. It's a lot of sweet, dense pretzel and caramel. Adam's Beach Party. This is strawberry pound cake and beach nights, basically. Great one, one of my favorites as well. Um, so I like, from her beach nights, I like Montego Bay. I like um, Adam's Beach Party a lot. I mean, I like a lot of them. Um, this is a fantastic one. I've repurchased this one, so I might have another one in here. And uh, just fantastic, one of my favorites. Strawberry and, uh, let's see, strawberry cupcakes. This is strawberry vanilla cupcake with buttercream frosting. This is also from March of last year. So as I'm going through these, I will probably put many of these in the March basket because I'm kind of hitting that one year, one year mark or more actually. Yeah, her strawberry was pretty strong. I've had this one. I remember this was a pretty good performer, like really good. I remember warming this in the bedroom and in the um, open space downstairs and the strawberry really comes through. It's a good one. I think it's because it's mixed with a vanilla cupcake. I like it. And let's see, pistachio Disneyland, pistachio, cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, creamsicle, lemonade, and whipped cream. This is yummy. I think I have another one called going to Disneyland, which is pretty much this um, without the pistachio. This has a pistachio in it and the other one will could be coming around soon. This is a great scent. This is from January of last year, but I still have half a brittle. Why didn't I warm that laugh? Like why? It just takes me a long time. It does to use her brittles, which just speaks to how well it works for me in my home. That being said, one of my best friends, she loves her scents, loves them. They did not work for her in her home. So, and for me, they're strong and they last a pretty good time, you know, a pretty good long time, like eight hours or so, you know, sometimes vendors can last anywhere from four to four to eight hours or just right on the cusp of four to five hours. Hers really last a long, long time. Um, this one is outdoors. This is fresh cut grass and rain. This is also probably coming up on a year. Yep. February of 2023. This is a, a grassy green, fresh. It's a fresh green scent. Really nice. I like that one. You got a little bit of dirt in there too. It's, it's a good atmospheric scent. Soaring over waltz. This is notes of fresh air, Valencia orange zest, and fresh orange blossoms. Soaring over waltz. I guess what I should have said, forgot to say that when I was holding up the uh, pistachio Disneyland, is she had to remove the word Disneyland out of her sense. So, um, so instead of saying going to Disneyland, which is another scent that will come up, uh, it's now called going to waltz. And so I think this was like waltz starts to replace the word Disneyland um, for Walt Disney. This is supposed to smell like the notes of if you've ever been on the ride. I know they changed to soaring over the world, but in the summertime, I think they bring back soaring over California if you go to Disney California. Um, and there's a scene in there where you're flying over the orange, uh, the orange farms in Southern California. Uh, are they farms if they're trees? I don't know. <laughs> the orange fields, orange crops. I don't know. Um, and I remember when I got this, I felt like the orange was really a little too zesty. And it is, it's pretty tart 
pretty tart, so I have not warmed a lot. It's very strong. So maybe orange isn't for me. I know this is a favorite for a lot of people. Um, I wanna say Robin H had received this and really liked it. I think I just need to warm it or, or it may be one that I toned down with like vanilla, like a vanilla buttercream in this scent might be good. I just find this orange to be really sharp. Okay, coin wash. This is fresh aired laundry and amber. I really like this one as well. I mean, it is a laundry smell, but it smells like a laundromat. It just smells like you got all the machines going and it just smells clean. And that's what this smells. I do have to smell it, sorry. <laughs> I have to. Um, I would buy this again. I will buy this again when I'm back into buying Sassy Girl Aroma. This I do, I have a scent memory now of warming this upstairs in the bedrooms and it just smelled so clean. But again, it's not just laundry. I mean, it is a laundry scent, but I've smelled a lot of laundry scents because I like it. There's something a little different about this because of the amber and it's just, it's so nice. So if you like laundry scents, I recommend coin wash. And between the good morning sunshine, what I'm warming today and this one, I like this one a little bit better. So this is coin wash. Pep Rally, this is lemonade, strawberry, and cotton candy. I've had this since November of 23. That doesn't seem right. I think I've had this for a long time. Oh, oh, January. <laughs> I'm wearing glasses and I still can't see. It's a one and not an 11. This is from January of 23. Um, this lemonade and strawberry is very, very strong. I like the smell. This is a great scent but it's a lot. It's another one where that's why I've not warmed much because I've warmed like not even two brittle rolls. Rolls? Rose. I've been at work again today, so sorry for the mumbles. Um, yes, it's a lot. So I haven't warmed through much. Going to Disneyland from December of 2022. So I just talked about the one with pistachio. This is the one without pistachio. And, you know, if I look at both of them, I probably would have used close to an entire brittle. All right, Moonstruck. This is blackberry jam, butter cookie, zucchini bread, and vanilla bean Noel. This is Moonstruck. I've used probably half of the brittle. I love this one. This is another really, really good one. If you see this, buy it. If you like these kind of scents, her blackberry um, jam butter cookies really good. So I do like that one. And that's a good performer. Pineapple treat. This is from February 23. Uh, this is Hawaiian fresh cut pineapples and coconut milk um, with coconut cream. I skip some of the verbiage because she kind of goes on, tells a little story, <laughs> which you don't need to hear. Uh, pineapple treat. It smells like pineapples on a stick, you know, like oh, it does. It's so good. I love pineapple. Here's the thing with this one. I bought two of these. This was back when I was just starting to buy wax, you know, like in, in vendor wax in February of last year. And my friend was like falling in love with Sassy Girl Aroma. This is the one where it doesn't work for her. And she's the one who that day, I, I still remember this text where she's like, oh, you, I, you have to buy pineapple treats. I'm reading on the Facebook group that this is so good that everyone loves it. I bet you it smells like the pineapple Dole Whip, you know? And um, she bought two and I bought two. There should be another one of these coming around. It smells so strong on cold. Like I get like literally like my mouth <laughs> is salivating as I'm smelling it. It smells like fresh, ripe cut pineapples. Like I want to eat it. I warm this and it's strong on cold. I warmed it, couldn't smell it. I couldn't, like, this is one where it was so light, like, so light. I was like, what? How's that possible? And I have two, but, so that taught me to not buy two of anything unless I warmed it or unless someone tells me, like, you have to. Um, this is Honolulu Breeze, Honolulu Sun and Clean Breeze. This is from a year ago as well. This is another laundry-like scent, a little different though. It's got some, let me smell it. 
I'm really trying not to make these more than an hour. It smells good, but I think I didn't like this as much as Coin Wash or the Good Morning Sunshine one because whatever is in either Honolulu Sun or Clean Breeze, to me, they just, it doesn't mix as well. Um, and that's just a preference thing. It smells nice and clean. This one smells more like laundry laundry, whereas the other ones had something a little different. And then I think, I don't know what's in, I never looked it up, I think what's in Honolulu Breeze. So I've warmed a little bit of this in a bedroom and then thought, eh, it's, it's okay. All right, Santa's Eggnog Cookies. This is from December of 2023. Just got it. Sweet butter, creamy eggnog, and sugar cookies. I thought that I might warm this in December when I got it, or January. And, you know, I figured I'd just rather let it cure. I had so many eggnog scents, so didn't need to open it. This is Honey Pine Cones. Firewood honey anchored by orange flower, white woods, Icelandic pine cone, and cashmere musk. This smells really good. I do recall getting some of that honey. I do like the scent of honey a little bit. So, uh, you know, that's I'll save this one for next year. Cherries on top, zucchini, birthday, cherry crumb pie, and pistachio. I love pistachio. I love cherries. I want to say that this one, if I remember correctly, was like a cough drop, not cough syrup. <laughs> like sometimes you get those, like a hall cherry. So I get a little bit of that, but a little bit. It smells good. It still smells good. I get so much of the pistachio as well. So this, it, it does, it smells really good. I feel like I get less of that cough drop scent than I remember when I, when I first snipped it. Um, and that is cherries on top. Santos Royale. This is Palo Santo Sugar Cookie Royale and Toasted Marshmallow. These are from December, so just a few months ago. This one, um, this one I remember, I thought I was going to like it more because I love Palo Santo. Yeah, I get a lot. I get a lot of the Palo Santo. It's, for, it's nice, though, but... I think this for me would be more of a nice mixer than one to just kind of put by itself. I think I want something a little sweet, a little something else, but I'm glad I have it for mixing because it's a really pretty smoky kind of Palo Santo with that marshmallow. Strawberry sponge cake, sweet strawberry jam with Twinkies and vanilla cream. Excuse me, that was like cream. Um, that is, uh, I haven't eaten yet, so I don't even know why I'm making sounds. Uh, this one, I think the Twinkies in here really made it for me. Yeah, it's not my favorite strawberry and I'm picky about strawberry. I do have some strawberry, which I've already shared some of it. This is more of a fresh picked strawberry, which is not my favorite, but it's, it's fine. I think the Twinkies will tone that down. Radiant Leaves, this is crisp red Macintosh apple, smoky notes, sweet maple, warm caramel, and aromatic woody note. I got this as a sample, and this is why I love when vendors give you samples, because I got the sample, I go, that is really pretty, and when I saw that she was offering it, I, I wanted to get it. It's, it's really good. And I'm very picky with apple as well. I don't find that the apple overtakes a lot of the other scents. I get some of that maple, I get some of that caramel, but again, it's not too much caramel. I haven't warmed it yet though, so I mean, that could change. But as I sniff all of those notes together, I do get a little bit of a bubble gum kind of smell. And I like bubble gum, so I like that one. Okay, pistachio wedding cake, pistachio pudding cake, waffle cone, wedding cake. There was a lot of pistachio scents in kind of November and December that I bought. So can't, I mean, I love her pistachio. Guest house. This is cedar wood, smoke, sweet cardamom, cinnamon, and white leather. This, I believe she said is like a dupe of like a Courtney Cox home fragrance. And, uh, 
think this one was a bit smoky. Yeah, this is very smoky. Not like marshmallow fireside smoky, or this is more like burning wood smoky, or like a fireside. This definitely has that cedar wood smoke. Uh, so it'll be interesting what this one is like on warm, and that's from December. So that is my first, <laughs> that is the first round, and then I have another bin, and then just like a couple little stragglers. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, we're back. So here's my second bin here. So this is Abel's Mint Cookies. This is basically like chocolate and mint. Um, I don't know that I've warmed this. I don't have much left, even though I don't think I've warmed this. I did send some in friend mail. I know my friend does like chocolate, and so we, we might have, I might have given some to her. It smells good though. I have three left. I should maybe just keep this out and warm it. Um, just recently, I know going off tangent, I warmed creme de menthe. And uh, I like that one. That was from Scentsy. But I, I liked it. Uh, then Sweet Nights, Sweet Lavender and Beach Nights. This is from January of last year. And this is yummy. I should finish this as well. I love lavender. Her lavender is a nice sweet lavender. And then you have the beach night. So I have probably, I could probably be done with this in one, <laughs> one time. Uh, this one is baked on the griddle. This is sweet lemon, blueberry and raspberry in a vanilla baked scone. I believe I picked this up from around Robin and, um, yeah, those are her muffin tins. Here's some more hotel scents. This is Grand Aria. This is Lily of the Valley, Jasmine, Tuberose, Vanilla Amber, Soft Woods, and White Musk. I wanna say I really like this one <laughs> when I got it. Um, yeah, it smells good. I think it's a little lighter than some of the other hotel scents like West and East and um, Jackpot, but it smells nice. I'm gonna put that in that bin. This is Butter Your Buns. This is salted butter, slight hint of cinnamon, quickly melting and I just realized I lisped, I think when I said that, cinnamon. Okay, let me start over. <laughs> salted butter, slight hint of cinnamon, quickly melting into fresh, out of the oven, steaming buttery biscuits. Butter your buns, this smells really good. Just got this one in December and can't wait to warm some of these. I told you got a lot of pistachio in December as well. Pistachio in the kitchen. So the other one was I think pistachio wedding cake. This is pistachio in the kitchen. Pistachio cookies, Twinkies, birthday cake, vanilla fudge, butter and marshmallows. So that is pistachio in the kitchen. Another Adam's Beach Party, because the other one's like half, more than half gone. So I figured, I knew I was not going to be buying Sassy Girl when I placed this order. And this is from December. I knew that was going to be it probably for all of 2024. So because I had less than half of the other Adam's Beach Party, it was being offered. I bought another. Um, Schnockered. This is eggnog, vanilla bourbon, buttercream, and spiced, and sorry, yeah, spiced nutmeg. This is from January of last year. Schnockered. This, this one I smell this the first time, and I'm sure if I were to do, I'm not going to do it, but I'm sure if I were to smell it right now, I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is so good. When I warmed it though, it was too boozy. It was too boozy. Like on cold, it's like the perfect amount of booze. On warm, that bourbon really comes through and it's it's too much. So some of this has been because on cold, it smells great. And I think I gave some to my friends. Um, I don't know what they think of it. I should ask them if they even still have it, but that is schnuckered. Then we have birthday. Sassy Girl Aroma, okay, birthday cake and zucchini bread. I want to say this is from Christine, Christine Sensing, who sent me some. Um, and mm, yeah, it's so good. So because I have Brandy's pistachio, I never had just Brandy. And I think she said, I have some, I'll send you some. And this is Brandy with birthday cake and zucchini bread, but that smells really nice. And I know Brandy, the scent Brandy is a very popular one. 
OMG pretzel. This is strawberry white cake sugar cookie marshmallow and pretzel. This is from October of 2023. Why am I buying strawberry and pretzel when I'm just like eh about it? I don't know. <laughs> this wasn't that long ago. By, by October, I should know better. Although this is really good. Yeah, this is good. This is a kind of strawberry I do like. Yeah, versus the other one I just talked about not too long ago. It was more of a fresh pick strawberry. This is more of a yummy bakery. This is good. Okay, I haven't warmed it, but that is OMG pretzel from December. Then we have IHOP. This is pumpkin pecan, maple syrup, brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. This is from October of last year. I had heard so many people talk about IHOP. IHOP, IHOP, IHOP as a great coffee scent. So when I saw it, I got it. And yes, I like it. I do remember. Yeah, I guess it's, it's good. So I do get the hype for sure. Because of the pumpkin pecan waffle, I feel like this is more of a fall coffee scent. I mean, you could warm anything when you want, but it does have a little bit of that heaviness from the pumpkin pecan and the brown sugar, but that's a good, that's a good one. Okay, Return to Oz. This is from August of last year. Pumpkin pecan waffles, salted caramel, blackberry jam, butter cookies, and zucchini bread. I have heard people talk about this and I think that's why I bought it. Plus it's got the blackberry, which I really enjoy. Um, I do remember thinking I liked that one as well. Young Frankenstein, I'd heard a lot of people talk about this. So this is wild berries, cream, zucchini, sweet cherries, coconut, and creamy vanilla. Young Frankenstein, I got this in October. I've only smelled it once, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sniff. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Yeah, that's good. It's different, and there's, what is it in here? I think it's the wild berries. It almost gives it a almost get like a like a wild berry mousse kind of scent and then mix with the cherries and the um cream oh it's 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 good it's different from some of the other ones i have okay it's fall charlie brown this is apple pecan strudel and zucchini bread um although you see like a, i don't know three rows missing i haven't worn this yet this is uh from october of last year i think i just shared some with my friends i think that's what happened yeah it's it, this was one that i heard so many people talk about like it's just a like it, such a fall scent, a very popular fall scent from her. So I did get it, but didn't get around to warming it. And if I did, maybe it was one time. But my friends, uh, whenever we have hauls, we share, we share our hauls. In fact, they're, we're already making plans for when they're going to come over in March. Um, apple butter delight. This is slow cooked apples, caramelized sugar, brown butter, steamed milk, and creamy caramel. Apple butter delight. Uh, this, I think I got it thinking it might be a dupe for apple butter from Scentsy, but I don't think it is. I think it's just, it, I, and I haven't ever smelled the original from Scentsy, but this is so good. Mm. Mm. It's making me want to just skip summer, <laughs> skip spring and summer and go back to fall. These are yummy. Uh, psychiatric ward, butter cookies with blackberry and strawberry jam, vanilla, bean noel, donuts, and zucchini. This is from October. And I heard a lot of people talk about this as well. Uh, and I like, again, her blackberry. But why with the strawberry again, Martha? Why are you buying strawberry? Oh, that's blended nice. To, that's, that's, that's fine. This is a, a strawberry I like, but the blackberry is really what's coming through more than anything. Mixing bowl, coconut milk, sugar cookies, wild berry mousse, serendipity, zucchini bread, also from October. And uh, that one's a good one. Carrie's sister. This is from January of 2023. So this is over a year old. Bonfire Bliss, Marshmallow Fireside, Sandalwood, and Vanilla. I need to be melting this now. Like I have half a brittle. I really should be melting this one. 
and from yeah from what I recall this is a good performer mm, I do love sandalwood and vanilla it's mm, yeah it's kind of yucky and I'm gonna pull this I'm gonna I'm gonna set that one aside that it's still cold it's very rainy today was pouring rain pouring rain um and so that's a good one favorite holiday this is a citrus blend of grapefruit orange lemon mandarin eucalyptus fir needle fresh pine cinnamon stick cloves pomegranate vanilla and fresh cut cedar there's a lot in here i have talked about this because i have another one of these somewhere um, oh, I used it up. I did use it up this this last Christmas. So I this, so this is the only one I have. Um, but it's a weird one because the wax oils, the oils come come um, come out of the wax like no other brittle. I've never had that issue with any other one except for this one. And I don't know if you can see. You probably can't because it's double bag. But there's some of the oil in the the bag itself. And then the label gets all kind of oily. But favorite holiday, it's a great scent. It reminds me a lot of the scent Holiday from Nest. So it's a kind of a citrusy, that kind of citrusy holiday with all those spices. Black Hood. This is another very popular one. I know this is like Melissa's almost, I think it's one of her favorite scents. Uh, it's a favorite for many. This is Chestnut and Smoky Woody Accords mixed with sweet notes of vanilla and red berries, floral combination of orange blossom and neroli essence. All of those basically <laughs> are saying that this smells like around the fireplace or campfire. Gotta be around the fireplace, right? Around the fireplace. Um, yes, from Replica. Replica has uh, several colognes, perfumes, and they are meant to remind you of like, they have jazz club and uh, what's the beach one? There's like, walking on the beach. I don't know. I'm going to get these all messed up, but there's, um, anyway, I think you're familiar with replica and this one smells like around the fireplace. You're all gonna, you're yelling. And I look over here cause I have that fragrance and like, it's gonna like somehow by looking at it, it's gonna come into my head, uh, around the fireplace or something. By the fire, the by the fireplace. See, it may be something happened there by me looking at my perfumes. By the fireplace. Anyway, this this is Black Hood. It smells just like it. Good scent. Great performer. I went on and on. Way too long. And why is this? Why is my hand waxy? I don't know. Is this one waxy? I shouldn't say waxy. Oily. I don't know. That might be from. Oh, it's probably from this one. Yeah, it's from favorite favorite holiday. I'm gonna set that aside and bag it with a, a different bag. Okay, Orca Island. This is blackberry beach nights and birthday cake. This is another great one. I think I watched uh, Melissa Johnson Hate talk about this one, and I got it. Her blackberry beach nights, fantastic. So this is very similar to Montego Montego Bay, but this one has birthday cake. Bob Jones, brown sugar, zucchini bread, and old bake shop. I got this in August of last year, and I know that this might be one of Summer's favorites, Summer Michelle, here on YouTube. Um, I, I, haven't, I haven't melted it yet. Okay, Night on the Beach. Um, this is basically like beach nights. I got this in August, haven't warmed it, but I love her beach nights, so that's a beach night blend. Don't fall asleep on Elm Street. This is sweet strawberry blended perfect with pine. This is from Summer Michelle. I got this and I don't, I haven't warmed it. I haven't warmed it, but I do remember smelling that one and really like that a lot. Big Bird's Birthday. This is cotton candy, lemon curd, and birthday. Uh, this one is also a really good one and I have not used it though. So I can't tell you how it is on warm, but it's a popular scent. It comes around a lot. I see that I see Big Bird's birthday repeatedly on her scent list. Uh, and this is from August of last year. Don't know if I said that already. And then pumpkin pie spice is a yummy 
freshly baked pumpkin pie with notes of buttery, cinnamon, clove, vanilla, and lemon peel. <laughs> I do remember getting this one. I did not, uh, I did not date this one. This was probably sometime in August, so I, I don't know why this one has no date, uh, but I do remember it's missing the L. And I remember when I first got it, I'm like, lemon pee? What is that? Lemon pee, but uh, it's lemon peel. Missing the L. Mmm. Mmm. That's, that's a great fall scent. So I'm going to have to wait for next fall for that one. Okay. Almost there. Got just pretty much what is in my, what's left in my February basket, which... You know, I may or may not have talked about by the time you watch this video. Brandy's pistachio. So I mentioned here's brandy with birthday cake and zucchini bread. This is brandy with pistachio. Um, so it's got the zucchini bread, the birthday cake. And so it's basically, yeah, it's basically this <laughs> with pistachio. Uh, and it this I've had since February of last year. I just warmed it recently and it's a really good, strong performer. Then I have Lace Your Bum. This is vanilla lace, salted caramel, pistachio, jasmine, and vanilla. Summer sent me this um, and this is from, I, re I received it like in August last year. She sent it to me, it has a lot of the vanilla lace. So it is more of a perfumey scent, but so pretty. Yeah, so if you like a nice, perf not heavy perfume though, it's not like that gaze into the night heavy. It's vanilla lace, like from, I think from Victoria's Secret um, with a little pistachio and jasmine. It's, it's good though, it's, it's, it's really pretty and lasts a long time. Lips of an Angel, this is from a year ago almost. This is dark, sweet cherry, pink raspberry, brown sugar, cotton candy. Sensual musk, French creme, tonka bean, whipped cream, marshmallow. There's a lot in there. Beautiful scent. I mean, I haven't, I don't go consistently on Sassy Girl's Facebook page because I don't want to tempt myself, but I have not seen this offered often. Like the times I have gone, I've not seen this offered often. And I love the scent. I think it's beautiful on warm. Yum. I mean, if you like cherry and like a dark sweet cherry, you will love this. It's not like cough syrup or cough medicine. Um, so I've, I like this so much that I honestly, I've been hoarding it a little bit. So I've only not used much, but um, I should, I should use it. Use it and, and enjoy it. Good night lover. This is blue sugar, sweet lavender, birthday cotton candy frosting. Good night lover. It is currently in my February basket and I haven't warmed it. Um, this is from January of last year. And then Sleepy Time, this is Sweet Lavender, Mint, and Chamomile from a year ago. This is beautiful. I like Chamomile and Lavender. It's a really pretty evening scent for me when I'm going to bed in the in the in um, in this room. And I've, I've got a tiny bit over half. Um, then we have Coffee Shop. I've talked about this recently. It's Blackberry Latte and Zucchini Bread. This is, it's a really, strong blend. Like I only need two cubes and it'll fill up, fill up the downstairs, two of these little brittle cubes. Um, heavy blackberry, heavy coffee. I think the combination of the two of them after a while is a little too much for me, uh, even though I love her blackberry. So I've been using this sparingly. I have, I think six little brittles left. Big shave. This is cotton candy, beach nights and shaving cream. Um, so I've got a little bit left here, about half a brittle, I would say. Uh, I don't know why I'm holding it so close to the camera. So this is shaving cream with her beach nights and cotton candy. I like the scent. It's not a love. This is going to go to a friend uh, who has never smelled that. And um, I said I'd send it to her. So all snuggled up, crisp air, clove, beach, thyme, wormwoods, and musk. This is from December of 2022. This is a really beautiful scent, but it does have that thyme. So that herb, you have to like that kind of herb scent in there. It's different. 
There's birch in here if you like birch. If this sounds good, it's a good performer. I like using it in the bedroom and I'm almost done with it. So, you know, I've done well. And that, that folks is it. <laughs> that is all my Sassy Girl Aroma. I have like one teeny little thing left on the battery, uh, on the battery light there. So I'm about to die here. Uh, so that was perfect timing. So that is it, Sassy Girl Aroma. That is my collection. I have a lot. I have, I really have no business buying anymore. Um, I mean, there's a few scents that people talk about that I'm like, oh, I've never tried those, but I, I don't, I'm not going to buy one brittle, right? Um, and I have a lot. I'm covered as far as bakery goes. I'm covered as far as fall and winter scents go. I have those like just hotel scents that I think would be nice for those days where I don't want bakery or you know, I don't know, or fruity. Um, so I, I have, I'm, I like this collection. It's a good collection to have. Um, and so I just need to use it, warm it, share it, all that stuff. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. My next collection that I have the most of, it's almost a tie between Knowles Farm Scents and Lavender and Speckles. So I'm going to do Lavender and Speckles next because I think when I did my count it's including some pre-orders from Knowles um so Lavender and Speckles will be the next collection I share I believe I have 60 57 57 bags from Beth who is the owner of Lavender and Speckles so if you want to continue watching these uh collection videos make sure that you have the notification button on that you're subscribed and if you enjoy this please like like the video and uh, I will see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.